we're just gonna jump right into it first thing i saw when i walked over to the yarn section is these i guess you call them rounds of yarn i guess it's still a skein technically um apparently all you need is one and you're good to go not really my type a lot of these were acrylic and polyester i'm trying to stay away from anything um that derives from plastic I don't think Joanne or Michaels is going to be my shop for fabrics in the near future, unfortunately. But I thought since I'm new to this whole sewing and knitting thing, why not? I just went into, into the store to see what they had, get a feel for the yarns, and to really like look at the labels to see if I could understand them for myself. This is another brand that had really pretty colors, um, Anna's Choice. These were on sale, I think, for like $5.99. They had their Yarnormous sale going on right now. So a lot of the yarns are like really cheap compared to regular price. This is a really nice rust color. I really like it. It's just 100% acrylic and I'm trying to stay away from that. However, I will say, if you are a beginner like I am, I highly recommend going with something like acrylic or something that's easier to work with because the yarn I ended up buying was not at all easy. It's already unraveling and I am still not sure what I'm doing. Being in the store and actually being able to touch the yarns helped me really understand what I like and what I do not like for instance I thought cotton would be a lot softer than what it was cotton yarn is like really on the rough side and I did not I just wasn't feeling it I hear a lot about lion brand yarns I was glad to see quite a few there um a lot of a lot of the other yarns that I've viewed were like wool, acrylic mix, cotton acrylic mix, um, alpaca acrylic mix. Everything was just mixed with acrylic and it's not really my cup of tea. Now listen, if you are a seasoned knitter or a seasoned crocheter, please explain to me what is it about acrylic? Because me, my logic is I don't want anything derived from plastics. I don't want, I want to get away from any semi-plastics and things like that so i just stay away from acrylic polyester nylon anything in those categories but i feel like the vast majority of yarns affordable yarns especially are made with those fibers unfortunately but like what is it with acrylic yarn because every person that i see on youtube who like knits and yarns and stuff they always use acrylic and they're in love with it and i just don't get it but i'm new to this so i don't really understand and i'm looking for somebody to explain that to me see even the premium yarns they're like what 100 percent acrylic Look at these really beautiful fall colors. I'm just so obsessed with the colors. I just could not find anything. Oh, that was 100% wool. Why didn't I grab that one? Hmm, I might go back and get that one. That's really pretty. I need that. I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet, but I really like that. Now that I think about it, it probably wasn't as soft as I wanted it to be, the reason why I put it back.
This is another nice yarn. Why did I not grab it? Look at this yarn wall, guys. One full skein is like $3.49 right now. I've seen a lot of these skeins home yarns. I will say I was unfortunately underwhelmed by them in person. This yarn is what I ended up purchasing. They had an olive color. They literally only had one more and they, I could not find it online for some reason. The only place I was able to find it was Amazon. It was, and it was like double the price. I did end up buying the one olive yarn. I am currently using this to practice and to learn. And on my way out the store, I ran across this very interesting macrame yarn. Although I don't have a use for it, I just thought it was really cool and the colors were really pretty. <laughs> 